No one's coming. First one of the season and no one's turned up. We're half an hour early. Could we have this conversation in half an hour? You're right. I'm always like this, aren't I? See, but no one's coming. It's a disaster. I came, Bob. Yeah, but that's because you live in the back of my car, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Can you even read it? Maybe, maybe the lines are too thin. I don't know. Go and stand over there. What's it say? Uh, walking club. Yeah, back a bit. Walking club. Walking club. Walking club. Vintage cat. No, I can't read it. What's it say? Walking club. Yeah. Nope. Line's too thin. Come on, Hazel. And rail cards, please. I'll bet a lot of people get caught out when you ask that question. They have to fish around for ages in their pockets because they can't remember where they put their ticket. Yeah. Not me. I always know exactly where my ticket is because I have a special pocket for it and it's the only thing I use the pocket for. Going rambling, are you? No, I'm going walking. Rambling suggests aimlessly wandering, whereas I always know exactly where I'm going. A bit like this train. And I'll be walking with my friends. I haven't met them yet. I've just moved to the area. And joining a walking club is one of the best ways to meet new people. I read it on 14 different websites. Well, have fun. I've also got a special pocket for my polo mints. Do you want to guess which one it is? Morning. Morning. Do you sell pens? Just over there. Ah. £1.99 for that one. <laughs> Just give it a bit of a test. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's, uh, mm. it's not quite what I'm after. Never got on with a chisel tip. Oh, we've got round ones. Ah. Ah. See now that I'm afraid it's overly round. Uh, just um, let me let me just. Um, um, uh, Tom, <coughs> not quite, not quite right. Anyway, thank you. Come anyway. on, buy something matches. Buy some matches. Lovely little shop you've got here. Congratulations. <laughs> £2, please, £2. Has anybody got the right money? Right, let's have a look. Two, four, six, seven, nine. I just, I just don't think we need surround sound. Yeah, but you need that for the bass. So, it's a barbecue. Yeah, with an integrated HDTV, not to get it would be a false economy. That's 30. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to the first outing of the year for the Mid Bucks Walking Club. I'm Bob Stevens. Anyone here completely new to rambling? Never been on one before? Well, lunch is on you, then. <laughs> no, no, please, come on. Come on, that was a joke. Thank you. We will, in fact, be eating at a terrific little pub. Twelve ales, no music, and their pies have actual pastry on the sides and bottom. Because if you just whack some filling into an oval dish and slap a bit of pastry on the top, it's not a steak and kidney pie. It's a steak and kidney lie, Bob. Well said, Tom. I do have to ask, does anyone here have an irrational fear of cattle grids? And did this house come up more than once? Uh, no one convinced they're going to fall through a two-inch slot and make us all go on a one-hour detour? Good. Now, if you get a cut or a blister, the first aid kit is held by my daughter, the delightful Hazel. She used to want to be a doctor when she grew up, but now she just wants to hang about in Thailand and then do media studies. So while you're getting a plaster, you can ask her where it all went wrong. OK, let's get ready to ramble. 
Remember, just because some of us have got beards and we're out in the countryside doesn't necessarily mean we're part of an Al-Qaeda training cell. <laughs> no, come on, please. That was just a... It's a light-hearted comment. Oh, dear. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say, we do set conversation topics for every mile. I know that sounds a little bit walk Nazi, but if we don't, we do tend to spend four hours discussing speed cameras. So, mile one topic is dinner with a beetle, living or dead, which beetle, which wife, and what's on the menu. On we go. I'm sorry, I don't understand. There's no quiz. I'm Bob. Hello to you. You see, I was in the Barnstable Ramblers. We always had a quiz. They were very successful. And I'm Christine. Christine? Yeah, I did say that. You see, the thing about quizzes is... Um, well, you, you, I know this is your walk, hmm. but quizzes are better than conversation topics. Are they? Yes. With a quiz, you can have questions about all sorts of things, like history. I might say to you, who was the fourth wife of Henry VIII? Then you might say Catherine Howard, but you'd be wrong. So no points for you. That's how a Barnstable quiz works. I think I understand that. But they don't have to be questions about history. They can be about all sorts of things, like uh, sport or geography. You don't get too far ahead. Literature, that's another quiz uh -huh. question. Yes. Um, science, that's science. another one. Film, television, mm. Annoying suggestions. No, well, that wouldn't work because that's subjective. It has to be something with a definite answer. That's what we did in Barnstable. People who don't take hints. No, that's the same problem. You don't really understand this, do you? People understood in Barnstable. Well, you're not in Barnstable anymore, I notice. No, I had to move. They must miss you very much. Written your ad yet, Tom? Yeah, yeah. Um, mature man seeks lady for sex, marriage, and maybe more. Please, please help me. I don't want to die alone like Dad when they find you after a month and the cats have eaten your face. Have bubbly personality. It's a bit much. Oh, yeah, been over the word limit, haven't I? Relaxed yet? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Because you don't look relaxed. You look like a My Year of Hell picture. We only do this for you to relax. I had to let people go again. Oh, leave it at work, so. I had to choose who it was, and the guy was crying. He was just crying in my office. And it's times like that, I think, what if just for a while I gave myself a pay cut and you got a job and. I can't work! Planning the extension's a job in itself. Sophie, that snooker room is our dream. We've worked towards that for five years. We're a team, yeah? Don't let the team down. I'm sorry. I'm so selfish. Sometimes you are, babe. I love you, Dennis. She's trouble. Who is? Christine. The one who looks like Ranald Fiennes on HRT. Oh, that one. That one there, the one I'm pointing at. It'd be a nightmare if she keeps coming back. She's a back chatter. It'd be like Dave McCluskey all over again. Two strokes, cancer of the bowel, and he kept coming back for more like some kind of hiking terminator. Thank God he moved to the Isle of Skye, and I hope that sinks. Bob, we did all agree. We needed new people. I mean, I really want to keep coming, but not if we're just dwindling. It's between this and badminton for us, Bob, and if we don't keep the new people, I'm afraid it's match point badminton. Look! I'm going to make this the biggest and best walking club in the Chilterns. Milton Keynes marchers better go and hide in their toilet because we are on our way. Need a walking club? Ah, the very same. You can get out now, you twat. This is my brother, Victor. Hazel? It is Hazel, isn't it? Well, I, I completely didn't know you'd be here. How about that, then? A bit freaky. You were uh, running a marathon? Tennis. We're playing tennis. Why does everyone think it's only a marathon you can do in fancy dress? Was it a charity thing, is it? Saving rhinos in Java. They only had two rhino suits, so he's a womble. Still a rare mammal. That's what we thought. 
Right. Victor, wasn't it? I'm Bob. Hello to you. How did you hear about us? Saw the poster. Ah, so she did put it up. Never did before. Too worried about looking cool. Anyway, welcome to Walking Club. We always want fresh blood here, like zombies or the NHS. Yes. Could afford a bit of natural wastage now. Christine? You were supposed to be playing with us, but oh, he had to come here. Thinks he's going to get off with some girl in his year. No, 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 no. He's, <laughs> he's joking. I, I just really like walking. Good man, Victor. Two pounds, please. Pick up for six, you shithead. Thank you. So, Tom, what is it you do? Oh, I'm long-term unemployed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How long's it been? About one, one and a half weeks. I mean, I've been out of work before, but I really want to make a go of it this time, you know? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> a very strong grip you got there, Tom. I used to handle livestock. <laughs> Tell me. What are you doing here, Victor? I saw the poster. No, the poster was in the bin. So was my head. The football team put me there. Don't tell anyone that I go hiking with my dad. Don't tell Becky. If you tell Becky, she'll Facebook Hannah and Hannah will text Amy and Amy will tweet everyone. Does that matter? Yeah, because they think I'm doing work experience at Stella McCartney. Don't ask me out. Just don't do it. I just like walking. I'm all over it. Those are new boots. I may only be 17, but I know a lot about boots. Don't ask me out. There will be punishments. I'm not going to. Though when you think about it, we are outdoors, so that's out. And we're going somewhere, and we're doing it together. So if someone ever asked... Then you we know could... that thing you do where words come out of your mouth? Yeah. Yeah, can you stop that? You know I didn't mean it earlier on, don't you? You're going to take the world of media studies by storm. You will find a way of writing essays about Come Dine With Me and make them sound really worthwhile. Thanks, Dad. Look at you. 17 already. Your mum would have been so proud of you. She isn't dead. No, but she's in Cyprus. She's not in a good place spiritually. She's fine. Villa's nearly finished. They've got an infinity pool. And does that make them happy? Yep. Uh, Hazel, tell him that thing, that thing you told me. There is no thing. She's got a little petrol scooter, Bob, that she rides around inside the villa. Mm. And she, she made her so sick of walking that she never wants to walk anywhere again. I see. I love that. Oh, I'm sure you'll get over her, Bob. Time's a great healer. Yes, it is. Mm. We're with Booper, but you probably can't afford that, so it's um, just time for you. Someone will come into your life. Uh, maybe she already has. So, we're cutting back, and it really hurts. But I still think we're well-placed to weather a recession. People will always want square candles. So, you make square candles? Make them, sell them. Shop in Cambridge, shop in Edinburgh, four shops in Bath. Four in Bath? Seems like a lot for one town. You obviously haven't been to Bath. <laughs> so what do you do for work? Maths, geography and further maths. Huh? Oh, you're still at school. <laughs> How old are you? Are you 17? So it would be legal. What? Driving, driving would be legal. <laughs> I thought for a second that you went... I'm very happy with my husband. to wait for stragglers in the Barnstable Ramblers. That's because we always stay together. It's obviously the way to do it. Certainly the way we did it in Barnstable. Christine, what? that is a very big rucksack for this walk. I'm prepared for a nightmare scenario, Bob, are you? Hmm. Is that a holster? For the flare gun. You see distress flares? Well, that'll come in useful for the uh, Somali pirates you do tend to get these days on the Wendover arm of the Grand Union Canal. In Barnstable, we were always prepared for the worst. You had the worst. You were in Barnstable. No, you don't need to spend a lot of money to enjoy a good old walk. I mean, look. These boots. Oh. Guess how much they cost. 
Well, it's certainly going to be a low figure, otherwise you wouldn't be asking me the question. Yeah. Come on, have a snap. One pence. No. Two pence. No. Three no. pence. No. I'm just being thorough. Have a bigger number than that. £1,500. That's just stupid. Well, was it more or less than £1,500? Well, do a reasonable number. Go on, ask me. Were your boots £50? Were your boots £50? Nowhere near. I don't know what they're doing, Bob. Oh, for goodness sake. Pub kitchen will be shut. Ah, oh, won't be scampy. Yes! Yes, it's called a Horizon. We've all seen one before. <laughs> People like that need a good kick up the backside. <sighs> Tom! No. No, 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 come on, please, please, please. He's very sorry. He wouldn't normally do this. He wouldn't normally even hurt a fly unless he's had more than two pints or, or he's hungry or, or he's seen a fly. He kicked us. I'm sure he didn't mean to. He only did it because he asked me to. You asked him to? No. In a way, but you have to admit you were going quite slowly, which is no justification, of course, but come on, all of this... Oh, it doesn't make it right, I know. Oh, you can find a turn of speed when you want to. I'm right to the Bucks Herald. Yeah? And I'll wipe my ass on it. That is. Oh, there we are. Never mind. Turns out they had an Ocado delivery box. You know, if you're not in, they do tend to cram it through the letterbox. That would never have happened in Barnstable. Just wouldn't have treated people like that. It's not the Barnstable way. If you say Barnstable one more time, you are off this walk. I'd never have given someone an ultimatum like that in North Devon. Right, that's it. You're off the walk. I didn't say Barnstable. Aha! Go on, bus stop's down there. I've paid my two pounds. If I've paid for the walk, then I'm staying to the end. It's my entitlement. Fair's fair, Bob. All right, all right, Jenna. She can stay to the end, but she doesn't get to vote on group decisions. Nor do the rest of us. Onward and upward, follow me. Bob's OK, really, once you get to know him. But she won't, admittedly. I'm not everyone's flavour. I do know that. It's my pheromones. They're quite potent. That's why I can't go near a field with a ram in it this time of year. But there's other ways to make friends in them thaw hills. And if I can't find friends walking, then I'll find them bell ringing. They're always looking for new people. This might sound a bit dramatic, but I think my foot might die. Oh, and your boot's giving you a man blister. So, why won't you go out with me? You haven't actually asked? No, because if I did, you'd say no straight away. Yes, I would. But why won't you? Look, why don't you just think to yourself, oh, she's probably gay, that's why she's not interested. It'll help you a bit. Right. Well, if you are gay, that's OK. Because we'll just be friends, and when the time comes, I'll go in the tube for you. You'll what? When you and your life partner want a life baby. I can help with the spermatozoa. I've got loads. You charmer. Well, it said in the New Scientist that 17, most fertile I'm ever going to be. After that, it's all double heads and wonky tails. So, throw some at home. You've got sperm in your freezer. Yeah, well, there's some left. Hit it in a cube tray at the back. Think someone's had a few. Down to be last 900 million. Are you gay? No. Will you go out with me? Yes, I'm going to answer that one. I'm going to throw this boot into those nettles over there. You can hop home, but she won't be able to follow us. I hope this demonstrates what a completely unsuitable girlfriend I'd be to anyone. Bye, then. Bye. I'll be blanking you at school on Monday. OK. Lunch ahoy! Best little rooting, tooting pub in the Chilterns. In Barnstable. In Barnstable? You went to a magic pub where you were served magic food by elves and pixie folk and you drank nectar from a unicorn's horn. Actually, we brought sandwiches. Yeah. Bit of a hidden gem, this. Massive portions, modest prices, a proper pub. So, don't tell the whole world about it. Come on. What the hell? We've uh, gone gastro. It was perfect. 
Well, no one knew we were here. Boss reckons this is the way forward. Thinks he's Heston Blumenthal. Well, I mean, yesterday, I caught him trying to cook an egg with a soldering iron. 18 quid for a main. Oh, that, that's quite a lot, Bob. Perhaps you should have checked, Bob. Yeah, Bob. Well, we're here now, so uh, let's just have a drink and figure it out from there. Mm, yep, I'll have a Cosmopolitan. You don't drink Cosmopolitans, Tom. You like a Foster's. Oh, I want a Cosmopolitan. I saw it on that telly show, the one with all the slags. Just sex in the city. That's the one. I can't believe you're having an alcoholic drink halfway through a walk. It's dehydrating. Right, I'll have one as well. Two cosmopolitans, please. Yes, we've got a sophisticated side, haven't we, Tom? Yes, we do. Can I get some Mr Porkies as well? Oh, God, he's going to put them in a bowl. Hey, so, where's your friend? Squirrel's got him. They elected him their king. He went home. Uh, didn't frighten him off with your assassin attitude, did you? Tom? Molecule of beef with raspberry froth, £21. We work hard, love. We've earned that molecule. It doesn't sound very big. Oh, but you'll be so full of froth you won't notice. Fills you up, does froth. Eureka! Listen, May Madness, special offer. Have one sticky toffee pudding, get one free. Have one, not, not buy one. They Have mean one. buy one. But they don't say it. So we just need to buy one pudding, we get a free one with it, the person who eats the free one, they had it, which means another free one, and so on. Pudding, after pudding, after pudding. The wording is ambiguous, Bob, I agree, but I don't think your pudding domino scheme will actually work. No, it will. It's here, in plain English law. It's like a runaway chain reaction, but with pudding instead of uranium-235. <laughs> I knew I'd come up with something. I quite fancy that molecule now. Well, that's my kid. Well, this is what we're going to do, because I have discovered the secret of infinite pudding. Now then. Bloody ramblers. I've been thrown out of anywhere before. Well, one place, but I'm a different person now, and all that pain happened to someone else. I didn't even get to finish my slot drink. Got no right. Set it on the menu. Yeah? Have one, get one free. Not buy one, have one. Dad. No, no, please don't go. Uh, look, there's a church just down there. We'll knock on the door and ask the vicar for some food. He's got to give us some because it's in the Bible. But please, we stay. <sighs> You've got emergency rations in there. Don't deny it. 6,474 calories, but I would not classify this as a survival situation. Come on, give it. Stay away from the rucksack. Hey, let's eat this. Where did you get that? Round the back. Just sat there in a hutch. Thought we could siphon off some petrol from a car and just cook it. Belongs to the pub, Tom. Put it back. Put it back now. Dad, cotton tail's gone. Get rid of it, quick. Dad! Not oh, oh, like them. Oh. Run! Oh. Everybody run! Time to run now! Oh, as you can! Drop the flare gun! Oh, my cold, dead hands. Tom. Deathly done, Tom. There's no one new left, Bob. We said, didn't we, we don't want to carry on, and as the club's growing... There's Christine. I'm off the walk, Bob. Your words returning to you like a verbal boomerang. What are you thinking? We haven't got one new person, have we? Also, I come on these walks to relax, and frankly, they get a bit stressful. It's the end of the club, Bob. No, no it isn't. It can't be. We, we all need this. We spend our lives in little rooms, guzzling information that we don't need. We need to be outside. To breathe the air. Look out! Yep, yeah, that works. I've only got nine flares left now. I suppose that's enough to get me to chinna. Christine. Wonderfully well equipped, Christine. I know your outer wear is impervious to rain and wind, snow and ice. That's it, an alkalis. Is there a way to reach through it to your heart and persuade you? to join our little band. People think you get hot in it, but you don't because of the breathable vents. Look, this club, this is all I've got. It's the only thing that gets me through the week. The rest of the time I'm locked in my work dungeon. It's, Oi, granddad, get, you get this lot filed. Will you do this, do that? And, and you mentioned once someone using mayonnaise from the fridge. And, uh, 
And you know they did, because you, you, you mark the level, and, and fr the Friday afternoon your car's all covered in Hellman's. No! There's your mayonnaise, Grandad. You could have a sense of humour about it. That's my life. Your life is mayonnaise? I, I, I'm sorry, Bob, I'm confused. I don't understand. Wait there. What's it going to take? Of course I don't know where I am. I'll just come anyway. Get your boots on, you're back on the walk. Hang on. Don't know if I want to be now. That's not for you to decide. Anyway, you love walking, you said. No, I don't. The countryside is rubbish. It hasn't got a roof and it doesn't even have Wi-Fi. Alright, I only came to ask you out and you don't want to know, so... If you come on the walk, so I, I, I'll kiss you. Nice. No, 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 now. In a, in a month. In a month? Yes, that's near enough to give you some hope, but far away enough that I don't have to worry about it for a while. You'll kiss me in a month. I will. On the mouth. Damn, yes, on the mouth. And you have to tell ten people at school that I'm all right. I'll stop telling five people that you're a twat. Probably works out the same. Yeah. Sorry. Dad? Dad, picked us back. That's one new person. The club's OK. Oh, it's just grand. What's happened? Well, meet our new deputy leader. Victor, you're not needed. Go home. A uh, promise is a promise. You could have told me what you were going well, to so do. Well, so could you. And why aren't I deputy leader? I've been coming here since I was in a sling. I thought you didn't we... like walking. Oi, hot chip, enough. We won't have any of this kind of squabbling anymore, please. And you know why? Tell her, Bob. Tell her like I told you. Because sometimes we'll do things my way. Sometimes we'll do them... The barnstable way. See, it wasn't that hard. Here's your rope bar. Thank you. Got any fruit? Yes. Can we have some? No. I'm really pleased you came back, Victor. We're going to have a lot of fun in this group. Yeah, I hope so. Call me at work. Now then, everyone, what an afternoon stretches before us. Two aqueducts, one World War II pillbox, and the conversational topic for the next mile is... Morsel Gadget. Who's the best inspector? Oh. On Eva. Deputy walk leader gets a very special badge. It's uh, an invisible one. Humidity's up and airflow channels in the higher cotton mix. 1799. Sometimes you have to treat yourself. You've been walking a little bit with Christine today, haven't you? Yeah, I know. She's a woman and everything. I think she's, she, she is a woman, isn't she? Technically. Woo! Getting busy in the bushes. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. And The Great Outdoors continues here on BBC4 next Wednesday at the same time. We're off to Blackpool here on BBC4 at quarter to midnight tonight with The Great British Holiday, but first marking 100 years of The Girl Guides, next. <laughs>